Hello, I'm Melanie Murphy and I'm a YouTuber and Lilette have invited me here today to talk a little bit about growing up and how I found that, becoming a teenager, all that good stuff. I really hope this will make the whole thing less confusing for those of you at home going through it right now. I was really nervous, yeah, it was a boy who was friends with my best friend and it was behind a tree in her estate and uh, I think I was about 13 and he was about 14. Really, really nervous and it was very sloppy and wet and not very enjoyable but we stood there for about half an hour because all our friends were timing us on the on the watch like they were just trying to see how long we would be kissing for and I remember he got trying to touch my boob and I had no boobs and I had stuff in my bra and I was like please don't touch my boob <laughs> I think kissing is one of those things that you have to practice to make perfect. You can't really plan a kiss. Like I know a lot of us do the whole kiss in our own hand and that kind of thing, but you just kind of have to do it and then you'll see what it's like and the other person that you're kissing may be a good match for you or may not. Try not to build it up in your head and just experience it in the moment. You'll know after about five seconds if you're enjoying it or not. Kind of go with them, so they'll, they'll let them kind of like lead a little bit and kind of feed off that so if, if they're going in with too much tongue maybe like use less tongue or something just try and like see what feels nice to you. I changed friend groups a few times during school and I do think that's quite natural. Um, at the start of school I was in more of what you'd call the popular group but as I changed became a little bit more tomboyish, a little bit more self-aware and self-conscious and a bit more into like you know metal music and stuff that they weren't into so I ended up being in a group of girls where we all felt like we were outcasts we didn't fit together very well but we just kind of found solace in each other and we would just kind of hang out and like sit under the stairs and yeah we were very strange <laughs> I think definitely it was a case, it was never really boys with me because I was in an all girls school, unfortunately, but with us it was if one girl and you were like best friends and she started spending more time with this other person or they didn't invite you to something or you didn't invite this other person to something, those kind of little things would really hurt at that age because you just felt so rejected and it brought out a lot of kind of, you'd say things you didn't mean and things would get very heated. I remember even something to do with basketball match, a stupid little thing to do at a basketball match where I couldn't go to a finals that we'd gotten to. And the whole team turned against me and they thought that I was just this horrible, horrible person. And I remember for a whole week in school, I didn't want to go in and I felt anxious then if I saw them coming down the corridor towards me because I knew they weren't going to say hello to me. So little things like that can really be a big deal when you're in school. I think in school it's very common for a bunch of girls to kind of gang up on one person at any one time and I know myself I was on the other end of that at one time because I was terrified of getting bullied myself so I just kind of went along with what the group were doing and they were like leaving someone out and I was just like oh yeah and I felt terrible about it and I've since like contacted her and apologised to her about that it was awful but I think if you're on the other end of that and you feel like a bunch of girls are like isolating you to know that it's it's more to do with them than it is to do with you, definitely it's more their issue that they're trying to work through. To know that there's always other people you can be friends with and when time passes your friend circles will change anyway and those girls will more than likely apologise to you in the future and it's not something to take personally and it's not something that you should think any less of yourself over because I think it happens to almost everyone in school at some point. It's just kind of like a natural part of like the school journey unfortunately and also to kind of reach out to new people, see it as an opportunity to talk to new people that you may never have said hello to before in your class or from other classes, to know that like you deserve friends who want you around and you deserve better than that. It was disastrous. I was a nightmare as a teenager. I was very angsty and very angry and my mom and me really clashed 
a lot. We were great friends now, but at the time she didn't like me seeing boys, she didn't like me wearing makeup, she didn't like me wearing mini skirts and belly tops like my friends were at the discos and parties and things. So I just always felt really kind of left out and like she was being too hard on me and she didn't understand. And I just used to cry a lot and slam things and scream. And yeah, it was pretty bad. I think, I think, I know that that's quite common, but I used to always think, oh, my friends have it great and their parents are great. But since talking to them now, as we're all adults, they went through the same thing. And it's very easy to think that you're the only one who's experiencing that as a teenager. But yeah, I used to just be so excited to see my dad because I was like, he lets me do this, that and the other. He, he understands, but he didn't know what I was like during the week. So I'd see him on the weekends and he'd, you know, be the fun loving one and bring us to the cinema. But my mom, I know now she was just looking out for me. 